the uh, field will have a sixth round. Well, an intriguing 800-meter field is on the track. Sieradzki of Poland will be the pacemaker. He's been asked to go out in 50.5. Good, sensible uh, figure that. I think anything under 50 always strikes. So Marco Arop there, you can see, just behind him, well, the Canadian in scintillating form, only a semi-finalist in Tokyo, but since the Olympics, he has gone on to uh, run spectacularly well in the Prefontaine meeting and in Lausanne, as Sieradzki is introduced to the crowd. Quite a responsibility for these fellows. They get paid for the job, of course, and generally do a very good job. Arop, winner in Prefontaine last week, last Saturday, a winner in Lausanne two nights ago. He's the world number four. And the last winner here, incidentally, two years ago, was a Canadian, Brandon McBride. Can it stay in Canadian hands? He's in great form. There's a Clayton Murphy, who was ninth in Tokyo, fifth in Pre and fifth in Lausanne, gradually coming back to form. And Elliot Giles, well, what a fantastic year he's had. He's really developed a 1,500-meter runner and miler, 3.33 and 3.52 for the mile. And a UK indoor record last winter for 800. Ferguson Chariot Rotic. Well, the Olympic silver medalist from Kenya, 31 years old now, but he's a real banker, this fella. He's very experienced. He was fifth in Rio, second in Tokyo, took a bronze medal in Doha, won here three years ago. Patrick Dobek. Had never run an 800 meter before February, but took the bronze medal in Tokyo. Was only 10th in Lausanne, though. Looked really tired, the former 400 meter hurdler. And Wycliffe Kinyamal, the Commonwealth champion from the Gold Coast in 2018, went out in the heat of the Kenyan Olympic trials, but uh, he's a 143 man this year. Gabriel Tual of uh, France. Seventh in Tokyo, did well to make the final. He's a growing force. He was fourth in Lausanne. Only second in French championships. Peter Ball. Well, he was ill in Lausanne. He was uh, being sick after the race. Finished ninth and last there, but he will certainly, I'm sure, come back here. Fourth in Tokyo, the Australian. A fabulous fourth. And uh, Amal Tukot. Well, he's been around a while. The 30-year-old from Bosnia, Bosnia and Herzegovina. He was sixth in Tokyo. 13th fastest man in history with 142.5 back in 2015. He's run 144.5 this year. And Adrian Ben of Spain goes in lane one. Now, he was a surprise package at the Olympic Games. Finished in fifth place, the 23-year-old. He is the Spanish champion, but he too was a tired eighth in Lausanne two nights ago. Meeting record, 142.9... Uh, 141.54 by Rudisha. And the world best this year, 142.91 by Nigel Amos in Monaco back in early July. The men's 800 metres, then. So the responsibility relies on the shoulders of Sieradzki and White at the top, out in lane 8 for Poland, to take them out in a good, healthy pace. Adrian Ben, to right a picture, left way behind after only 100 metres. Just easing into his race, I suppose. Sieradzki moves across from the outside. Elliot Giles looks up for this, he found that new strength this summer with a brilliant runs at 3 1500 and the mile and Clayton Murphy moving up into third place he too is a 352 miler so there's some fellas here who can really mix it the longer distances ball on the inside in fourth place and then down the outside the tall figure of Marco Arop who has run very strong in the second lap of his recent victories he's running with real confidence they come to 400 meters 50.17 it's good it's almost perfect in terms of pacemaking, so job done by uh, Suratsky, but uh, Elliot Giles, yes, disappointed not to make the final in uh, Tokyo, but he's bounced back well, had a good, couple of good races in the last two weeks. Had a quick chat with Marco Arrot this morning. Sounds like a, a lovely fella, very quietly spoken, just gets on with the job. Suratsky's done a good job. Giles now holding the four down the back straight as Arrot eases into the lead with 200 metres to run. Rotic in his slipstream, Giles on the inside, Murphy in fourth place just beginning to struggle by the looks of things too. Prin Yellow on the outside's got a lot of hard running to do as these three begin to get away. And now down the home straight, coming into the picture, 
I think that's uh, Brotic. That's uh, eight to rock going backwards on the inside. In fact, just looking, it's Kenya Mal who's in the lead by three meters. Brotic in second, Arop Ar Ar in uh, third. His legs were going from under him. The winning time, 143.94. Well, that's quick. It might not be a meeting record. It might not be a world best, but anything under 144 in these uh, post-Olympic races with so much of the uh, fatigue, psychological and mental, psychological and physical, still in their legs. And then the travel for most of them who ran at the uh, Prefontaine meeting only a week ago, the travel across an eight-hour, nine-hour time zone to Paris, still in their legs. That is quick running. It was Kinyamal from Rotic, from Arop. He won it pretty comfortably, didn't he? Kinyamal, the Commonwealth Games champion. Well, Charles at this point has got himself into a great position, and Murphy, we should mention that Clayton Murphy, who got it all wrong, didn't he, in Tokyo, and he was still competitive. But here with just under 200 to go, here's Kinyamal up on the shoulder, makes his move, not the tidiest of runners, and I mean that in the nicest possible way, often looks a little bit ragged, but he isn't half effective, and once he made his move, he made it, it was decisive. Rutic coming back, as he often does in the last, what, 50 metres or so, and uh, Marco Arup, you mentioned he's had a fine, fine last uh, week or 10 days, on this occasion, having to settle for third place, but Kinyamal, can't take your eyes off him, it's been uh, handed down, 143.94, brilliant. Well, and the place times were very strong to Rotic, 144.45, Arop, 144.74. Peter Bowl bouncing back after the sickness in Lausanne, 144.88 for fourth place. Nearly at Giles, also under 145 with 144.92. So a really nice men's 800 metres thereafter. A somewhat strange and partly disappointing race in Lausanne a couple of nights ago. But a 1-2 for Kenya, Kinyamal and Rotic.